Okay, so the Formula Wab project is put together so that the students understand plastic processes. The plastic processes that we focus on, vacuum forming for lots of the food packaging, injection molding for many other components that are found throughout the world. And students will get an experience of both of those systems. I've learned that um, these wheels are compressed by, using, by reusing plastic and it's compressed over there um, to make a wheel. As the formula part of this project, Formula One, is a list of rules and one of the key rules is that there is no glue allowed. So therefore all of the components have to fit together as precisely as possible. I actually used to have a different, uh, a different spine, but and it was green and a little bigger, but um, I had to make a new one because it broke and also it was a little loose anyway. There's a lot of different uh, elements that are brought together in, in this particular project. This year, they needed to sketch an idea, so most ideas are started in sort of sketch form, um, but they did draw a solution to their problem in 3D, so that was part of their communication skills and that actually uh, corresponds with some of the work that they're doing in art and understanding perspective. I also learned how to draw better 3D shapes. Maths and science really comes into play as well. Uh, the accuracy part, we're talking about measuring uh, and this is a real life scenario of components having to be measured as accurately as possible and understanding the size and dimensions of components and making them fit together. Well, my car did break apart, so now I know how to make it more sturdy and how to keep it in one piece. I made this other one that was a little smaller, so more aerodynamic and can fit easier inside the um, starting gate. There is a bigger picture with all of this because there are some positive sides of plastic, but they are also the generation that need to understand some of the negative sides. So in the plastic process, we end up with a fair amount of waste. And so we try and understand, give a real scenario as to what recycling is like. And so we try and understand after, after we've created these products, we understand the amount of energy and negative processes within the recycling uh, cycle and try and get the students to understand what the balance is like. I won the race. I made a 3D person because I made it just a regular person but I decided to make a 3D by a tip by Mr. Cole because it looked really cool and it helps the spine actually stay because otherwise it would have probably fallen off. Congratulations! There you go, you can sort that out. This is the there you go, Amelia. There you go, roughly like this. And congratulations, Nola!